Being mobile is changing the way we consume video online. That does not mean that we're watching more on our phones. Rather, mobile is impacting viewers' behavior and nor is that more apparent than in the rise of vertical video. I'm gonna share with you three facts to consider when making video. I might have a bonus one at the end. Like, subscribe, let's do this. In a recent media radar study, link below, I found that many video creators have shifted their focus to vertical video. They're realizing that this format is more user-friendly and better accommodates the way people watch videos on smartphones and tablets. You might be a romantic and decide that horizontal video is the classic format and it should be kept. I would fully support this, except earlier reports suggest that vertical videos provide three times the return of their horizontal counterparts. Numbers simply don't lie. While you are considering making a vertical video, the following three facts are important. Number one, vertical video is more prominent. In Q1 of 2017, 112 mainstream and mobile websites ran vertical video advertisements. While still low compared to the entire media landscape, it's a new industry high. This is the result of barriers to entry. Those running vertical video tend to be more sophisticated with enough financial resources to found innovation. Two, most vertical videos are 15 seconds. Per the study, roughly 70% of vertical videos run for 15 seconds. As with many new formats, there are a lot of testing in video duration. For example, MFS Investment Management is running a 90 second ad, while others are staying short at five seconds. The majority, however, are running 15 second spots. This is interesting since Snapchat, a vertical video leader, has a current max of 10 seconds. Number three, vertical is led by entertainment. Movies and TV programming represent nearly 40% of all vertical videos online. In second and third place are apparel and retail. Marketing for TV programming and film has adopted vertical video the most aggressively, with dozens of examples. This lopsided adoption indicates that there is massive potential for this format. Now for a bonus. Less than 30% of people turn their phones to view horizontal videos. And when they do, they only watch 14% of the video. That's it. The study shows that vertical videos are steadily becoming more popular among publishers as consumption and mobile usage increases. It will be, it's going to be fascinating to see the way vertical video evolves in the second half of the year and beyond. Jesse Driftwood is a video creator and he is mastering the way to vlog using Instagram stories, which is a purely vertical format. Take a second to check him out. You might be inspired. We we'll continue to navigate what it means to tell our story and reach the masses. Join me on this journey to learn the power of storytelling to drive success, growth, and influence. See you next week.